So if you see the light from a distant object enters the objective and a real image is formed in the tube at its second focal point. So the eyepiece magnifies this image producing a final inverted image. So this is how it works. So you can see here how the deployment is all about. So this one is a real time computer and you can able to see the wavefront sensor over here and this one is a deformable mirror. So if you see the detector is over here which has been detected, an image. And this one is the distorted incoming waves. So it has been passed on the deformable mirror and you can able to see the wavefront over here. So this is how it gets to be deflected and you can able to see an image. Considering the magnifying power M is the ratio of the angle beta subtended at the eye by, by the final image to the angle alpha which the object substance at the lens or the eye. Hence this can be given as M tends to beta divided by alpha that is nothing but H divided by Fe multiplied by F0 divided by H. Cancelling H and H will be getting F0 divided by Fe. So you can see here the objective F0 and the eyepiece Fe. So in this case the length of the telescope tube is F0 plus Fe. So if you see the terrestrial telescopes have in addition a pair of inverting lenses in order to make the final erect image. Refracting telescopes can be used both for the purpose of terrestrial as well as astronomical observations. For example, if we consider a telescope whose objective has a focal length of 100 cm and the eyepiece has a focal length of 1 cm. The magnifying power of this telescope is m equal to 100 divided by 1 that is 100. So let's consider a pair of stars of actual separation 1 minute of hour. So the stars appear as though they are not separated by an angle of 100 into 1 that is equal to 100 which is 1.67 degree. So this one is the indication of angle. The main consideration with an astronomical telescope are its light gathering power and its resolution or as we can say this as resolving power. So if you see the former clearly depends on the area of an objective. With larger diameters fainter objects can be observed. So the resolving power or is the ability to observe two objects distinctly which are very nearly the same distance. It also depends on the diameter of the objective. So 
So analyzing this one, so the desirable aim in optical telescopes is to make them with objective of the larger diameter. So the largest lens objective in use has a diameter of 40 inch that is 1.02 meter. So here you can see the interesting concept. So this one is the telescope. So this one is at Yerkes Observatory in Wisconsin which is located in USA. So this one is such a big lenses that tends to be very heavy and therefore difficult to make and support by their edges. So further it is rather difficult and expensive to make such larger size lenses which forms images that are free from any kind of chromatic abbreviations and distortions. So you can find here the chromatic abbreviations in concave lens and this one is a modern telescope view. So for these reasons the modern telescopes use a concave mirror rather than a lenses for the objective.